Hey everybody, Susan Gerbig here. Hope you're all having a fine weekend or whatever it is. I got this really interesting video up, queued up. I have not watched. I have no idea who this guy is. But I received a comment from this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your comment. I appreciate your comments, everybody. This is from M Mason. 9836. So I don't know who that is, but thank you. I appreciate it. This person says that they had been recommended a YouTube video for a medium for Joshua Lewis Medium. Never heard of him before. And this is a spirit photographer, I guess, uh, who uses a spirit box. Now, we haven't covered spirit boxes on this channel. Um, they're, I know what they are. Um, my friend Kenny Biddle would probably know a lot more about him than I do, or Richard Richard Saunders I would know a lot about him too. That's kind of in their world of the ghost adventure, ghost people thing. So I do know quite a bit about spirit photography. Well, maybe not a lot, but I do know, I've read a lot about that. And um, so this should be interesting. So according to M. Mason9836, they say that this person will do a medium reading for someone using the spirit box. And then, I, I don't know, are, is he going to draw the person or is he going to use finger paint or I don't know what he's going to do, but somehow pictures come through of the person that has died. Now, this is what M. Mason9836 says, and this is hilarious. In the afterlife, you're sitting at the same angle to the camera as in your earthly life photo that they use for comparison. I guess in the afterlife, you lose artistic creativity. And that is sarcasm. That's pretty funny. So <laughs> this guy, we're going to check out. The reading that was recommended to M. Mason is the first one that pulled up whenever I Google this guy. Or did a YouTube search. And it's husband shows his face medium reading. Joshua Lewis medium has 3,200. Wait. 3,000. 3.26 thousand subscribers. Which is almost triple mine. So he's doing well. This video was uploaded on February 23rd. Which is today. Oh, it's still February 23rd, 2024. He's got 887 views. That's a lot. I mean, I can't get 800 views on nothing here. So that's that's amazing. All right. Woman's husband speaks and shows his face. Uh, then he does his uh, reading. You can book a reading at hopeparanormal, hopeparanormal.com. Okay. So Joshua Lewis, according to his what's on the video and i'll give you this in the show link here he's someone with a troubled past struggled to understand the world around him and his purpose within it following a simple spiritual path he would come to understand his purpose in a very profound way in 2012 his intuitive nature drew him to seek the truth regarding paranormal events and the existence of an afterlife what he got was way more than he bargained for wah 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 as his intuitive abilities developed, he discovered he was able to communicate with souls. Souls on the other side. Souls. Not shoe souls, apparently. With his new group, H-O-P-E, with a dot after each one of them, which stands for Helpers of Paranormal Entities. And his intuitive ability, he dedicated his time to helping stuck spirits crossover as well as greeting people looking for closure hope will always be dedicated to not only helping souls wherever possible but truthfully showing all evidence that is captured josh has spent years training at the international school of clairvoyance under the toolage of deborah katz that's k-a-t-z using a wide variety of a wide array of technological devices combined with intuitive means josh has been able to successfully reconnect many people with their deceased loved ones in addition to his work and research in the afterlife, Josh is a devoted father and owner of a successful hookah bar cafe and filmmaker. 
Watch as Joshua Lewis conducts real spirit sessions on locations in cemeteries, houses, and even his own residence. Oh, he has spirits in his resident. I wonder what his kids think of that. There's a Patreon, a TikTok, a Facebook, a website. Buy my book, Finding Hope in the Afterlife, an honest account of my spiritual journey and afterlife research. Oh dear, what the heck have we got ourselves into? 29 comments and they're all positive and it looks like he's got a following. It looks like people have been coming back often for for oh here's somebody who says somebody named james cook three hours ago said people can't really be buying into this bs come on this is ridiculous but joshua lewis medium says i'm sorry james you seem like a cynical kind of guy and it's a shame everything i do is 100 percent real and i know you can't fathom that your limited belief system won't allow you to but i've worked with institutes PhDs and have been proving my work for over a decade. Do some research. Start finding someone, something to believe in other than the nose on your face. Seriously, get some help, sir. You're in for a rude awakening when you pass on to the other side. I understand there are fakes out there, but people know when they see my work that I what I do is very real. And somebody named Leslie says, I believe you, Josh. I appreciate you doing this. Thank you. And then Joshua Lewis Medium says, thank you. Yeah, I understand people's skepticism, but when they act like they know for sure this is not real, they reveal how ignorant they are. There are so many lost people in this world, unfortunately. I can't believe we're going to watch this. Oh, dear Lord. <sighs> okay. So, give me a minute. Hey everybody, it's me, Joshua Lewis, Psychic Medium, and back with another great video. I'm excited to see the channel is continuously growing. People are watching and it's awesome. This video is great. This is a woman named Brandy looking to speak with her husband, Brian. Of course, I don't know that that's who she wants to speak with. And I connect, I intuitively pick up um, facts about him, attributes, physical, uh, you know things about what he looks like and she confirms that yes that's him and he proceeds to come through you know I'm using three different devices I'm using a warm-up app I'm using my computer program the HSP Pro and then I'm using the physical box and he's coming through all three things and he's saying yes a lot confirming that he's seeing God that you know he's blowing her kisses that he loves her and it's just amazing you know he's ready to come through and then at the end I ask him to show himself in a spirit photography session and sure enough he does let's get right into it okay we are recording today's date is October 4th the time is 3 50 p.m. Eastern I'm on with Brandy we are looking to connect with her loved one I think his name is Brian I am going to turn on my warm-up app and I'm going to intuitively uh, connect with Brian and see if I can see him in my mind's eye. I invite my guides, Michael, Chris, Brian, Patrick, and Betsy, any of the, any of the hope, any of the hope approved helpers to please help me. Okay, when you're ready, go ahead. Brian, October 25th. I don't know the height, but it feels like a pretty medium-sized build man. Um, I feel like he's wearing shorts. Kind of seems like he's got short hair. Did he pass from a heart attack? I'm sorry? Yes. Yes, he did. Okay. I see him sitting down and I felt like he just touched his chest to let me know that's where that was the cause of death. Was he a little bit overweight? Hardly. I mean, they would call him that, but because of his height, no, not really. Because he was, okay, uh, all right. Because, I mean, I don't see him as being fat. I just see him as being kind of like, you know, medium build, kind of thick, you know what I mean? Not super thin or nothing. Yeah. 
Did he have short hair? Shorter hair? Yep. Yep. Okay. So the physical description and what I'm getting on his on what his death was was accurate. All right, Brian. How old was he when he passed? About 65, 66? How old was he? 60. 60. So he was in his 60s. Brian, I greet you. I welcome you in. Um, I send you brotherly love, man. This is what I love to do. And it's an honor to try to help you and Brandy. Um, can you use this? Yes, see it. Okay, good. He says, yes, see it. That's what I hear right away. Um, Brandy, why don't you go ahead with a question? <laughs> I haven't really even thought of any. <laughs> uh... <laughs> why do people do this? I don't know. Hold on. Well, maybe he's... Hold on. <laughs> Brian, she's not prepared with questions. Do you have anything you want to say to her about that? Uh, go ahead, start talking. You got to say something. Okay, well, maybe he was talking about my, my chest when he was pointing at his chest because I just got a tattoo for him. Oh, okay, very cool. I saw that tattoo. Very cool. Anything you want to say about the tattoo that she just got on her chest? How about now? Something like wake you up. I wake that woke you, woke you up. I woke you up. Something like that. Well, this this should work for you. I just tested this audio the other day with my guide Michael, and it worked very very well. Um, we're gonna also do a spirit photography session with you and try to capture an image or an image you want to show us or an image of you. Will you be willing to try that with us? That was great. That was great, Brian. You're doing very well. I can hear you in real time. So you're doing, you're doing very well, man. All right, let's go over to the box and try the box with me, okay? All right, hold on. Is there anything that you want to try and say to her? Any message that you're trying to get across? I mean, are you around her a lot? Are you pretty much at home with her, around her a lot. Again, I'm just asking these questions kind of over because I want to give you time to hear what I'm asking you. I know that happens a lot. There's a little bit of a delay. So again, I'm just asking, are you are you around her a lot, Brian? Wow, that sounds horrible. Hold on. Hold on. All right, let's test that out again. How about now? I'm something yes again so he's given a lot of validation just in saying yes um, do you um, do you mostly stay at home with her or do you travel and do other things switch to another algorithm give you a different we're gonna do do you think that you're gonna I'm gonna ask you this a couple times you have confidence that you can maybe show yourself in, in the spirit photography session we're gonna do it's like again yes something like he's yeah go ahead and ask him something tell him something anything you want to say directly to him I know you're here with me all the time, so that's what I feel like anyways. Are you here with me all the time? 
yes, I am. Yeah, I am. He's like, I am. So he's, yeah. he's, given, he's given another direct response. All right, well, Brian, we're going to do this photography session now. Uh, give you final message through this piece of equipment. Anything else that you want to say through the box? How about now? Final response through the box, Brian. Okay, I, I don't know how much more I can put up with that. That is, oh my God. Okay, this is audio pareidolia. It is a thing. Our brains are wired to find patterns. If, I, I have no idea what he's doing with all those dials and stuff. It makes no sense at all that he's communicating with dead human being and able to communicate with it with a voice i mean that is i don't care how many dials he's going to turn and how many machines he's got and how much money he's spent on this i don't care about any of that technology you cannot communicate with dead people they are dead all right done so this isn't even good cold reading i haven't gotten to the photo yet which is what i'm dying to see a heart attack, well, nearly every man, um, better cancer. She wants to talk to her husband, Brian. Okay. Did you notice the music? Blowing kisses, audio pareidolia. Okay. So auto pareidolia, if you don't, and same thing with real pareidolia. Look it up. If he didn't have the words on the screen telling you what to listen for, you may hear something different than what he heard. So they put those words on there for a reason because they want you to hear the same words. And once you know what it is you're supposed to be listening for, it's very difficult not to listen for it. It's This is ghost hunting 101 kind of stuff. And with all these finagled devices is also a big thing in the ghost community. Oh my gosh, Kenny Biddle, I got to get him to look into this and, and go over this with this. So brandy is talking to her dead husband and she's giggling and she doesn't know what to say and she doesn't sound like she's taking this seriously at all and she's just like okay hey are you okay i mean i got a tattoo with your so he he <laughs> first he asked did, she, did he die of heart disease heart attack she says yes and then she says Actually, he's pointing to his chest. It's probably because I got a tattoo of him on my chest. So which is it? He died of a heart attack or he's talking about his, her new tattoo or something. I mean, okay. Um, we don't know anything about Brandy. We don't know if he's seen her. He knows her. We know zip. There's no lead into this. Um, what he said is just, I mean, if he kind of knows how old Brandy is based on her age or or if he's seen her, I don't, I don't know. Then he can kind of guess how old her husband is, but he's in the sixties. <laughs> okay. The description he's given is a man who wears shorts, short hair, got a little punch on him, medium build, stocky. Wow. That really describes him. So let's go see. I'm dying to see what this photo looks like. Okay. I have no idea. He's going to take a picture. He's going to, he's going to photograph him. Oh, dear. Okay. So look, he's, he's definitely doing well. All right. I'm going to um, pause the camera for a moment.
So there you have it again, another amazing session. You can see he shows himself. It looks like a photo of him as I use that as a comparison. And throughout the whole session, he's coming through, confirming he's there. Uh, it's just beautiful. You know, our loved ones are right there, ready to communicate. They're with us, they know what's going on, and it's such a beautiful thing. Uh, I'm gonna keep showing you these videos, so keep checking in. Uh, I'll have another one for you soon. I love you all. Until next time, thank you. What the hell? And Mason 9836 is absolutely right. I think that's supposed to be his nose. Let's, let's look at that again. What, what is this? Some some something he's some toy, some electronic toy this guy's got. Is this supposed to be his nose? And this is his eyes, and that's his mouth. And I guess that's his chin. That's his dimple. So at what point does he see this photo? And if you see this photo of this guy who's looks like he's in his 50s. That looks like him. And why is he facing the same way? That's what M. Mason says. Why is he looking the same direction, the same angle? I, I This is the first video I've seen this guy. What, what, what is this? That's, he's shown himself. He's, oh my gosh. I have no words. People are paying for this. So anybody who's watching my channel and has been watching it for a while, thank you. I appreciate it. Please, I love you. <laughs> Please leave comments. Please give me some feedback on this because I'm... That wasn't even... <laughs> oh my gosh, that was... The reading he gave was so benign, so... What what did he tell her? His loving wife who got a tattoo of him. He blew her kisses. Oh my gosh, you guys. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And leave me comments. I, I mean, come on. I This guy's got a channel with over 3,000 subscribers since I've been watching it it's now up to 902 views we're in so much trouble if no, no. deep sigh sad <laughs>